This motor right now has no load and is running about 300 or so RPM. I have five packs of AA batteries. Eight of them AA batteries are in each pack, so that's 40 batteries. There's my commutator. There's my magnet assembly. And there's the end shaft. Right now, the current being drawn Line it so. As you can see, it's going between 20 milliamps and 40 milliamps. Now let's measure the voltage. Alright, just like so. Attach the black prong. The red prong is already connected. Put on DC volts. Measure the voltage of the battery. All right. This says 50.5 volts. 50.5. was running on 1.5 watts. 1.5, so again, between 20 and 40, so the average is 30 milliamps. Multiply by 50 volts, that's 1.5 watts. All right? Now for the fan video. Welcome to the latest human motor. I have these two coils. The rear one is 11 pounds. The front one is 9 pounds. And I've got a rotor. About 12 cubic inches of neodymium magnets. I have the commutator in the back. brushes in here, the brushes connect to the coils, and these squeezers, this one here, and this one here, contact the commutator, and the, the, uh, the tweezers are connected through this wire to this battery pack on this end and on to this end. And here's the meter. I'm drawing about 100 milliamps. And we have some of this wind blowing. Level this camera. This has a higher mechanical impedance of operation compared to my older video with the smaller fan. This is actually the smaller fan right here. The This is the 19 and 3 8 inch diameter fan that I've used. I've had this for about two years now. I, in some videos, I have it running at over 340 RPM. 
Uh, one of them is the Neiman Outtakes video, which I uploaded a few months ago because that was an old clip, but I uh, forgot to upload it uh, with, with it edited. And I also have an older one where it says 340 RPM in the title. Uploaded on YouTube already. But this one right now is only 200 RPM or somewhere around that. With about 100 milliamps. Now what is our voltage? I'll disconnect the machine and then I will take this prong here and I'll connect it over at the end of the battery pack. This here I can measure the voltage. Move it here, the 200 volt position, so we get a decimal place. All right, we have 85.3 volts on the meter. All right. This is not as uh, low friction as my older Newman motor because we got eight contacts per revolution and they're on the periphery when they contact the brushes. So this is not currently an ideal system. And also I think what I'll need, to, uh, what I'll need is more magnets like so. I'll have maybe like increase this thickness by a half. Um, and do so only at the edges here so that I can utilize more of that towards the uh, the, uh, the perimeter and okay here is the shaft coupling right there and this is actually a thumb screw with a washer hex nuts on both sides all right. Now, as we let this sit here, the voltage does climb because when it's under low, the voltage drops. And it's interesting, the resistance of this motor. Okay. Okay. 66.4 ohms. All right. So with 66 ohms and approximately 85 volts, we're only drawing 100 milliamps. Why? Because it takes time for the current to rise and you have the back EMF of the rotor. So we don't just calculate the current by taking the voltage and dividing it by the resistance. Because in doing so, we, get, we would get a value approximately 10 times more than the current draw as read by this meter. Now, when the thing is not running, of course it should say zero. All right. Disconnect it. Okay. All right. So I'll add more magnets uh, sometime this by the end of this month. And once I do that, I should be able to connect the bigger fan without drawing too much current. All right.